the 100X LLM is coming. It's not a question of if, it's a question of when. This entire video is based off a single question I have for you. Are you ready for a 100X improvement in SOTA LLMs and state-of-the-art large language models? After I heard Sam Altman talk about the two different types of startups, one group that's likely to win and the other that's likely to lose, I couldn't get this idea out of my head because I realized I had no plan for the next iteration of LLMs, the 100X improvement. I'll play that clip in just a second, but first I wanna highlight how insane a 100X is. Take a look at this dot. This is us right now. This is your best prompts, your best AI agents, your best agentic workflows built on top of the the best state-of-the-art models. We're talking about GPT-4, we're talking about Claude 3 Opus, we're talking about Gemini Pro, and this is every tool that you have available to you right now, right? This is Devon, this is Cursor, this is Ader, this is Phi Data, this is LangGraph, it's everything, okay? But everything we have right now is essentially nothing. Take a look at this line here at the top of the screen. This is what a 100X improvement looks like to scale. You cannot even see a fourth of the entire circle. This is absolutely incredible, but this is what we're dealing with. This is where we are right now, and this is a 100X. This is GPT-4, Claude Opus, all of our current agentic tooling, and this is what it looks like 100X. We don't know when this is coming. We don't know if it's gonna be GPT-4, GPT-4 Ultra, or if it will even come from OpenAI. It's looking like it will, but that is not important. I don't care about that. What I care about is helping you prepare for this, the 100X. 100x improvement in soda models and state-of-the-art LLMs. All of your capabilities are going to 100x. I think fundamentally there are two strategies to build on AI right now. There's one strategy which is assume the model is not going to get better and then you kind of like build all these little things on top of it and then there's another strategy which is build assuming that open air is going to stay on the same rate of trajectory and the models are going to keep getting better at the same pace. It would seem to me that 95% of the world should be betting on the latter category. But a lot of the startups have been built in the former category. But there's a giant set of startups where you benefit from GPT-5 being way better. Ask the company whether uh... 100x improvement in the model is something they're excited about. So in this video, I want to do one thing. I want to move you from not prepared to prepared for a 100x. And again, it doesn't matter when this happens. You want to be ready before the ball starts rolling. You want to get and maintain your first mover's advantage in the age of AI, in the age of LLMs. So that's it. That's all we're doing in this video. I want to help you move from not prepared to prepared for the 100x improvement in state-of-the-art large language models. So what are these three ways to prepare? How have I constructed this into actions that I am personally taking every single day to prepare for 100x? How can these ideas be useful for you. We're looking at three tactics, three practices. I have three concrete practices for you. Let's dive into them. We're talking about BAPS. We're talking about expanding your problem set. And we're going to end with 100P over D. You can guess what the P is. We're going to get to 100P over D. Let's start with the most important, highest impact actions you can take first because why waste time? The BAP is the big ass prompt. I cannot take credit for this one. A commenter on one of the videos on the channel came out with this terminology. Ever since I read that comment, this terminology has stuck with me. So what is a BAP? A BAP is a large prompt with 10K to 1 mil tokens, all right? So we're talking about a large prompt filled up with your unique domain specific data and knowledge, okay? So why is this important? Why will focusing on big ass prompts help us prepare for the 100X improvement? BAP allow you to solve bigger problems in a single shot. When you're using a BAP, you can utilize your data at scale with the power of the LLM. And last but not least, you can discover the full potential of context filled prompts. Think about it this way. When you run a prompt with two or three sentences with, with your error that you just got that you're trying to resolve and your current block of code, when you ask your LLM how to uh, resolve a git merge for the five millionth time, what you're doing there is it's, it's the equivalent of it's sitting in the garage and only getting driven a few hours every single week. 
And when you do drive it, you drive it at the very fastest 60 miles per hour, right? That's the equivalent of what's happening here. We are not utilizing our prompts to their full capability. By using big ass prompts, you can really discover the potential of your context filled prompts. That's what a BAP is. It's a prompt with a context filled with your unique data. I can almost guarantee you, you are going to find and discover new different ways and new capabilities of the current state of the art large language models that you were not aware of. Dump in a large section or even your entire code base. Take your database, dump it in the prompt. Run OCR on a PDF and dump the whole thing in there. I brought this up before, but everyone is way too focused on outside of the prompt problems like RAG and like organizing data with knowledge graphs and whatnot. That's important, but over time, it will become less and less important as the context window increases, as accuracy goes up, as needle in the haystack accuracy goes through the roof. RAG is one of those problems that Sam is talking about that they are going to solve. Don't focus on RAG, fill up your prompt. I realize it's going to cost, it's gonna be a little expensive, but it's time to start practicing now. Remember, the cost of the prompt is going to zero. And remember, the prompt is the new fundamental unit of knowledge work and programming. So you need to get your reps in now before this stuff is widely available. On the channel, we focus a lot on being ready before it's time. This is the key of great engineering. This is what expertise is. It's knowing what's going to happen and preparing for it so that you can have that first mover's advantage, all right? So that's what a BAP is. This is really important. If you do nothing else, if you take nothing else away from this video, start using big ass prompts. Fill up the context. Use context-filled prompts. Take your data and truly use it to drive results and solve your problems. So what's next? Expand your problem set. What does this mean? How can this help us prepare for the 100X improvement in LLMs? So solve problems with your prompts and AI agents that you're not ready for or that you're not sure about and solve problems that you're just not tackling, right? I can almost guarantee you that there's something, some process, some development workflow in your day that you haven't taken the time to sit down and say, how would I have an LLM do this for me? How can I build a couple of AI agents chain together to solve this one task for me. Don't get caught up in exactly how you'll accomplish the goal. Just start solving the problem with basic prompts and a few tools. So why do we care about this? Why do we care about expanding our problem set and solving problems with prompts and AI agents? Because it's important to understand your problems intimately and understand if they're solvable with current models and current chaining techniques. I can almost guarantee you, whatever problem you're thinking about, whatever that task is that you haven't attacked yet, that you haven't started digging into, it is solvable by current state-of-the-art LLMs and a couple of great prompt chains. I can almost guarantee you that. In the off chance that you're really pushing it and you're really near the edge, the 100X model and the iterations up to it will boost your existing solution and help you unlock it. But you need to have your problem ready for prime time. Again, I wanna tap into that idea that expertise is is really about knowing what's coming next and being ready for it, right? Having a best guess and having action so that when the opportunity presents itself, when the next generation of models come, you are ready. You have your problem sitting there ready for prime time. It's important to aggressively tackle existing problems with prompts, LLM power tools, and AI agents. If you're still writing code line by line, I'm calling you out right now, you are starting the self-deprecation process for yourself as an engineer. You need to be prompting your code, you need to be prompting your documentation, you need to be prompting your feedback, you need to be prompting everything. On this channel, we've set some micro trends in the you know LLM tech ecosystem. That's amazing. If I get credit for nothing, I want to get credit for this line, for this statement. The prompt is the new fundamental unit of programming and of knowledge work. You need to be utilizing this stuff because that is the landscape shift on a more lower level. Forget about the 100X for a second. On a lower level, that is how you prepare for all of these LM power tools. It's all about the prompt. Master the prompt, master knowledge work. Master the prompt, master programming. And of course, I know it's not that simple. Of course, you need to know how to code. You need to know the fundamentals. You need to know algorithms, data structures. But with the power of the prompt, 
in your hand. You can do all of these things. You can learn all of these things, okay? So anyway, I don't wanna to sound too preachy there, but it's important to aggressively tackle your existing problems with prompts, LLM power tools, and AI agents. I know right now you're thinking of a couple things that you can start tackling right now. It's time. This is your call to action. Solve those problems, get ahead of the curve, and stay ahead of the curve. If you're enjoying these ideas so far and they make sense, and you can see how these tactics can help you prepare for the 100X, hit the like, hit the sub. This is the content that can help you evolve your engineering. And maybe you're one of the engineers that are already taking these steps, right? You know the power of a big ass prompt. You know that you can load up tons of documentation for prompts and have a brand new specifications document built out. Or maybe you've built out some system that starts prototyping for you and lines everything up perfectly because it has all of your unique domain specific data from your database, from your .csv, from your JSON file, and and it's helping you make those changes to your code base, to your work, to your products. So if you know what I'm talking about, just hit the like and you know, <laughs> continue being awesome, continue on the ride. For everyone else, you're in the right place, you're focused on the right things. Remember to aggressively tackle existing problems with prompts, LLM power tools, and AI agents. Let's move on to the last tactic you can practice to prepare for the 100X improvement in state-of-the-art LLMs. 100 prompts a day, 100 P over D. This one sounds dumb, it sounds obvious, but it is so, so, so important. What do great engineers do? They write code, they communicate clearly, they build, they fix, they maintain, and they do it over and over and over and over again, right? We have a mental model of what's likely to come and what we need to do to create certain outcomes. And that comes from raw experience, from putting in the reps. For prompt engineering, for building AI agents, the reps are prompts. If you're using some prompt design tool, if you're using an AI coding assistant, and even if you're just going raw right into ChatGPT or hitting their API or running some agentic workflow, it all counts as a prompt. If you want to transform into an agentic engineer, you need to hit your prompts. You need to get your reps in, right? Understand the present to understand the future. The big takeaway from this is that by running a ton of prompts to solve different problems, you can understand what's possible with current LLM. If you don't know what you can do right now, I can guarantee you when the 100X comes, you will not know what to do with yourself. So get the practice in. If you want to understand the future, you need to understand the present. Practice, practice, practice. This is how expertise occurs. Don't listen to anyone else saying anything about how you can improve at a skill. There's nothing else to it other than practice and reflection. I snort LLMs like it is crack. As someone who is completely obsessed and addicted to LLMs and the power of this technology, I can almost guarantee you, you are not likely even near the limits of existing models, prompts, and prompt chains, right? And all the way up, right? All the way up to agentic workflows. The amount of latent value here that is ready for you to tap into is incredible. It is absolutely insane. And to imagine it 100Xing is truly kind of just completely mind blowing. But in order to be ready for that, to best prepare for that, you need to get your reps in, you need to solve existing problems, you need to understand what the current limits are, and really truly understand them at a deep fundamental level. This is why I have slowly kind of phased out um, using AI libraries in a lot of my code. It's because they're taking the magic away from you. They're taking the understanding of what it means to create a great prompt chain or to create a very specific accurate prompt. Don't give that power away to a library right now. It's way too soon, just way too soon. I'll pop that comment up on the screen. This is likely worth an entire video to explain why I don't use tools like LangGraph, LangChain, Autogen, Phi Data, Crew AI. There are, there are a bunch of like really, really great uh, LLM kind of AI agent, AI assistant tools emerging. I recommend you hold off as much as you can. Don't use them quite yet. Keep writing the prompts, keep building your own tooling. And then if and when you understand what's going on, then pick up one of those tools. I'm really impressed with a lot of the functionality they're building out. It's nothing against the tool itself. It's the fact that the prompt is the most important thing and you shouldn't be handing that off to a library this early in the game. There's still too much to be decided. So anyway, so 100 prompts a day, this is ultra important. And this concludes three ways you can prepare for a 100X improvement in SOTA LLMs and state-of-the-art large language models. Use BAPS. Get 
get your domain specific knowledge and data into your prompts. Build up tooling that lets you quickly do that. Expand your problem set. There are problems, tools, and products you have been thinking about building. This is your call to action. This is your CTA to start solving those problems now. It is time to attack those problems. You need to know what is possible. You need to know where the limits are. You will be able to solve the existing problems that you have with current state-of-the-art LLMs. Expand Your Problem Set is also about solving the problems in your current development workflow and your current product workflow that you have, that you haven't started implementing LLM-based solutions in, right? Build out the AI agent that helps you review your code. Build out the agent that helps you write documentation faster. Build out the agent that helps you peer review faster, right? So it's time to start digging into all this. Get your tools in place, get everything ready because the 100X is coming. It's not a question of if, it's a question of when. And then lastly, of course, no one great became great by not putting in the work. All right. Like there's just no way around this. I recommend you aim for 100 prompts a day. This is how we evolve into the next level of software engineering. Everything is about the prompt and the LLM and what you can do with it. So I highly, highly recommend you aim for 100 prompts every single day. You can be prompting via some tool or you can raw dog it and go right in to chat GPT or right into the API. These are three ways you can prepare for the 100X improvement in state-of-the-art large language models. I'm ultra excited for the release. If it's not clear, everything I say in my videos, I am actively doing myself. I have recently found a ton of value from BAPS. I've noticed my skill as an engineer increasing because I know how to prompt faster, more concisely. I am starting to solve problems that I know I can use LLMs for and also some problems that that I haven't been sure about, right? Take a quick snapshot of this, leave it on your desktop so that you just are thinking about this passively and start to employ these tactics to help you prepare for the 100X. Get and maintain your first mover's advantage to propel your engineering, your tools, and your products into the future. Be ready when the 100X arrives. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Stay focused and keep building.